In today's fact file, we look at the four species of toads found in the UK, with the most widespread and largest being the common toad, getting up to around 12 centimetres with females being bigger than males. Warty skin, typically brown, but sometimes a red or yellow tinge to it. Unlike frogs, they tend to be dry to the touch. The eyes of common toads have a gold colour to them. They can undergo quite large migrations to reach spawning ponds. Glands at the side of the head produce a toxin to discourage predators and can inflate themselves when attacked by a grass snake. Eggs are laid in long strings around vegetation in ponds. The only other native toad is the rarer and smaller natterjack toad, reaching a size of around 6 cm. They prefer coastal dune systems and heathland, liking to bury themselves away during the day. These plump toads have a bold yellow stripe down the back, with the rest of the body being olive, brown or grey. The iris tends to be more of a green colour, and unusual for amphibians, they tend to be poor swimmers. Often breeds on temporary ponds to avoid competition from other amphibians and predators. Two non-native species are also found, though not true toads. The midwife toad is found in areas like Bedfordshire, Nottinghamshire and Norfolk. It gets its name because the male looks after the eggs and deposits them into a pond. The tadpoles get huge, a whopping 7 centimetres, twice the size of the adults. The other species is the yellow-bellied toad, which are localised particularly to Totnes in Devon, being found in many garden ponds. These little toads go on their back to scare off predators and have a toxin in their skin. All species eat a wide array of small invertebrates and hibernate during the winter, returning to ponds in the spring to breed. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Other fact files are on the screen and new uploads every Monday and Thursday. Also, why not check out my wildlife podcast, the Bearded Tits podcast, where I interview wildlife TV presenters, artists, cameramen and scientists each week. Until next time, cheers.